Okay students, welcome to the fourth day of the summer school math session. Today is Thursday, July 13, 2023. Today, we will be learning about adding and subtracting. I will call on each of you guys at a time. Adding and subtracting? Mr. Weber, we do not need to learn about that. We learned about that in kindergarten. So what do we have to learn about adding and subtracting? Make us do something harder like counting decimals or something. Here we go again. Dora, first of all, you do not get to tell me what I can teach. I am telling you guys what we are going to learn about today. It says it in the syllabus, so we will do adding and subtracting and that is final. No we are not, and if we are, I have the perfect question that everyone must answer. Here it is, if two people are currently having sex, and another person joins the sex and sucks their dick or vagina, how many people are having sex now? Seriously. Dora, how fucking disgusting. You do not ever make an inappropriate math question. Why on earth would you do that? You want me to ask you another one? Okay, how many minutes does it take for someone to pee some chicken noodle soup out of their vagina? Are you serious, Dora? Now you're bringing up the disgusting food metaphors again. You're asking a very inappropriate question about good wishing urine uncontrollably. One more. Samantha sucked on Lance's penis for 10 hours, so how many minutes did she suck his dick? You know what Dora, I have had it with you, come out with me in the hallway right now. Excuse me Lance, shut the fuck up, you are not going to take my baby out in the hallway. She was saying something that's clearly funny. No it is not funny little Bill, stop telling me what to do, I am the teacher, you are the student. Actually, it's the other way around, I am the teacher, you are the student. Don't try to prove me wrong you disgusting bitch. Excuse me? Little bitch, do not call me a fucking disgusting bitch, when you're a fucking disgusting bitch yourself. Now listen to me right now, you fucking psycho. Stop giving me a bunch of attitude, or else I'm going to send you to a mental health facility. And what are they going to do? Nothing, because we're going to tell them that you are abusing us for making simple excuses. Now stop fucking talking back to us. Shut up Kendall, you fucking... You need a stick in the mud, due to your snotty attitude. Yet you give us a bunch of attitude yourself. This is fucking bullshit in the way you are treating us. We hope you fucking lose your job and get arrested for child abuse. I'm not going nowhere. Nisha, I'm never going to lose my job. Because I'm a grave teacher, and I am not going to get arrested for shit. I'm never a child abuser. I have two boys myself, and I've never abused them in my life. Yes you are. You don't abuse your two sons, but you can abuse us. That is child abuse right there. No it's not. Dominic, go fucking shove a donut up your mouth. Now you're going way too far. Stop abusing us right now before we call security. I've had enough of this. If you all give me one more bullshit attitude, you all are going to go to the juvenile detention room. Go, go fucking, fucking kill, kill yourself, yourself Mr. Mr. Clean. You, you are, are so, so fucking ugly. ugly. Oh my fudging 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 god. All of you, how fucking dare you call me Mr. Clean and tell me to go kill myself. That's it. All of you are now going to the juvenile detention room once again with Mrs. Clementine. Now get the fuck out of my classroom and go to the juvenile detention room with Mrs. Clementine right now. What? These fucking stupid idiots are here with me again. It's really getting on my fucking nerves. Now listen to me, all of you fucking jerks and dingbats. Stop fucking crying like babies, since you guys called Mr. Weber Mr. Clean and told him to go kill himself, you will stay with me in this juvenile detention room until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning for detention, I am not letting you all escape because I want to fucking discipline you. Anyway, time to stay here until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, I have already informed your parents over the phone. You will have to stay here for that long because I don't want you guys escaping from the building. Now stay here and the door will be locked until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The 20 and a half hour detention starts now. Now shut the fuck up and stop fucking crying like babies.